the crawler way. <clears throat> so the big rocket will come to the pad. The shuttles came out here with, uh, with that crawler and uh, right along the rocks here. And uh, the SLS will make the same journey. Apollo uh, made the same journey as well. In fact, the the, um, the pad that we're going to see, we're, we'll see 39B, or 39A, which is there's 39B and 39A, and the northmost one is B. Southwest one. We remember it by Boston and Atlanta. So, uh, so 39A, which is being modified for the SpaceX vehicle, I believe. So uh, uh, we'll see that pad, and that's where I launched from in Discovery in 2007. That's also where Apollo 11 and Apollo 13, all the Apollo missions, uh, launched from 39A as well. So it's the same, very same launch pad. Um, so this launch, of course, is very, very important in our flow. Uh, we hope to be putting humans on these um, on the SpaceX Dragon very very soon, and uh, hopefully 2017 we'll start the test flights. Uh, we plan to do three uh, test flights for both the Boeing uh, CST vehicle and also the SpaceX vehicle. Uh, the first vehicle for each uh, first mission will be on un human uh, on that mission. It'll be we'll fly a. Uh, rendezvous and docking with the space station and then we'll do it the next flight will be with people on it and uh, we'll do the very same thing and uh, and then of course in 2018 we hope to get to our our, uh, our crew test flights and then into full, full operational business to and from the space station on these commercial vehicles and also we're going to see a big rocket rolling out of that thing out of that VAB in 2018, the end of 2018, we're going to launch a huge rocket, and I mean, it's 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 about 10, 15 percent larger and more powerful than the Saturn V. So it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to, they retain this one house, they kind of remodeled it a little bit. And then we just refer to it in the astronaut corps as the beach house. So so we would come out here and have gatherings. So it has a conference center in it, and so kind of a very, very relaxing place to spend your last hours on Earth with uh, with your family, walking up and down the beach, just kind of relaxing. You could, we could see, you could still look back there to your right rear, you can see the pad there, so we could, from the deck of the beach house, you can look out and see your shuttle sitting on the launch pad. It's like, you know, this time tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, light the fire underneath that thing. You know, so it's, it's kind of a... Uh, really awe-inspiring. There's a lot of tradition that we try to uh, keep you here as well. One of the coolest things is uh, we get to meet a lot of the old pioneers that come back, you know, and uh, I remember the first time I was selected. I was selected in that uh, We start our first day was August 24th of 1998, and August 27th of 1998, three days later, we had the astronaut reunion, and uh, I, I sat at a table with John and Annie Glenn, and, uh, and, Buzz, and Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong was the table next to me. I thought, man, this is really good. I was like completely starstruck, you know. And, uh, and my wife told me, she goes, I get to meet real astronauts. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, Astronomy Live here. You can see the Falcon 9 rocket getting ready behind me for CRS-8. It's ready on the pad, and uh, later this afternoon at 4.43, we're hoping to see it lift off from Cape Canaveral and bring supplies to the Inter International Space Station, as well as the uh, Bigelow module beam. And it'll be the first Bigelow module to be inhabited by astronauts on orbit. So we're looking forward to that, and uh, everything still seems to be good. The weather's great today. so. Stay tuned, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to post a video of the launch later this evening.
right now the crews are working on the platforms that will extend to the SLS and surround the rocket while it's being stacked in the high bay. So you can see it down there. The crews are outfitting it and getting it ready to be lifted into the final position where it will support the stacking and assembly of the SLS rocket to take us to the moon and beyond. Directly, <laughs> directly ahead of us is pad A, which is the uh, SpaceX uh, commercial launch pad, uh, which NASA made an agreement with them a year or so ago. You see their big building out there in front. Uh, that is for their Falcon Heavy and commercial crew launches. Uh, that building ahead of us is able to support the processing of three cores of their uh, Falcon 9. All right, so let's get some perspective. The launch that they're gonna do now is a single core Falcon 9, okay? As you move a little further south, I'd say probably from the direction where I'm at, uh, about uh, one o'clock over here, that is the Atlas V pad, and which is uh, uh, operated by United Launch Alliance, and that is where, uh, once again, the Atlas V launches from, as well as when we go ahead and have commercial uh, crew launches. That's where Boeing and Sierra Nevada would launch their crew from. In addition to it, uh, you've heard, you know, we're talking today about SpaceX launching with their CRS missions. Orbital themselves launches from uh, up at Wallops, up in West, up in Virginia, mm. as well as since they had their challenges up there, they launched from over here on the Atlas V. So their launches are over here mm. off of Launch Complex 41. In addition to that, just south of there is where the action is going to be later on tonight, Launch Complex 40, uh, with the four lightning towers over there, and you can see the vehicle is already uh, uh, erected. And just south of that is Launch Complex uh, 37, and that is where the Delta IV launches from. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine ignition, liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket with science for today and for deep space exploration tomorrow. Falcon 9 has cleared the towers. Launch plus two minutes. First day separation, two minutes and 34 seconds. Standing by for first day separation.
stage sip. First stage separation confirmed. Second stage ignition. Stage one is entering its flip. 